Ian, I love that. That's the Thor Freedom Traveler. I'm getting the A30, guys. And you guys came from a Class A into a fifth wheel. You know oh. all about the Class A. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited stoked for, for you. you. Yeah, we would, uh, we've looked at this one in particular, and uh, Ian answered so many questions that I had in particular about the table. But the three words that he used, obviously, storage, 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 which it's is going to wrap up that incredible segment. You know what we're going into? Fabulous couples RVs, or oh, charming yes. if you prefer. You know what? Anytime we go seriously into any RV here, we're like, oh man, just imagine before we had kids, if we had started, <laughs> and it was just you and me, <laughs> this would have been amazing. It's and funny. now we're trying to go, oh, hey, we got kids all over the stead. It's good. Right here. Yeah. That's a beautiful thing. But that's the great thing about uh, traveling with family, especially an RV. I mm -hmm. met a uh, couple here that had their two kids with them and they uh, seen the travel the uh, rv show yesterday they came to camping world today they wanted to see everything wanted to see what we're cool. doing and, and they were telling me all about their journey they came from virginia and wow. they've come so all the awesome. way across that's the country just drive. like you guys have man just that's the thing rv community we just are kindred spirits no matter what you know <laughs> i just... think we're all connected and that's the cool <laughs> thing about it now listen if you see anything in particular and when these come off the the line mm -hmm. they're getting snapped up like that because of the deals that they're getting at the ultimate rv show national tour you see something you like you gotta grab it and we've got to get into these charming couples oh, oh they're so good i love all the room especially the bathrooms the size of that you guys will see it coming up right here all right ian take it away my friend here we go, let's talk about couples travel trailers. For those of you where it's just a couple of you, you know, you don't necessarily want to bring the kids, leave them at home. Ah, they can fend for themselves. No, just kidding. But for those of you that just want to kind of travel with each other, right, get out there, be able to see this beautiful country of ours, this session is for you, folks. All of these are going to be, you know, excellent floor plans. You'll have rear living, we'll have, you know, rear bath, right? Rear bath is very common in a lot of couples models. Gives you a lot of space back there, a ton of storage. This one right here is a 2021 Keystone Passport 2710RB. And obviously that RB stands for rear bath. Nice big super slide on this one, really opening up this living space. Uh, and again, I like just kind of the overall design and what they've been able to do. Uh, one of the first things that, you know, really just kind of sticks out to me is this right here. The fact that you have the theater seating and directly across from it is the TV. Um, in my experience, right, people tend to, when, when it's couples, this tends to be a little bit more important than in a lot of bunk models. Because in the bunks, you know, you tend to be outside a lot, you know, with the kids, you know, trying to just explore the outdoors and get out there. But when, you're, when it's, it's just the two of you, you know, chances are you're going to spend some time indoors. You're going to spend some time together. And being able to watch TV on some of those down nights, you know, maybe snuggle up a little. You want to snuggle? Get that thing out of here. Come on over, right? Sit right here. Snuggle on up. That lets you do it. Uh, you know, removable cup holders, pretty great. Both of these kick back, relax, so you can put your feet up. And as I mentioned, the TV is right across the way. There's also a multimedia center right there. Um, this does have an HDMI input, so if you want to put like a Blu-ray player or something like that, you can. And it's Bluetooth capable. So if you want to hook up, you know, like your cell phone, uh, your iPhone, jam out to some tunes, you can do that too. A little bit of storage underneath as well as up top. And I like what they did with the uppers. Rather than go with wood, they went with a frosted glass. I think that was a pretty good choice. Not necessarily a ton of storage up there, but you know, it just it again does kind of complete the overall look. Ducted AC throughout, folks, and that is the blade system. This proprietary two keystone. Uh, between the, the, the vents you have here as well as the ductwork in the ceiling, it's going to be a lot quieter and will actually cool more efficiently than your standard AC system. Plus, it has a quick dump. So if you are just, you know, loading or unloading the RV, the slides in, you have this walkway, chances are this is where you're going to be spending a lot of that time. You want to know if uh, you're going to be able to cool down, you know, nice and quick. You don't want to just sit here and sweat to death. Pop that guy open and it will cool you off. One of the things I love about this floor plan, folks, is actually right behind the TV. Take a look at that. You get a big O pantry, and I really enjoy this. Plenty of space there for all of your dry goods, e even underneath, right? If you want to throw a laundry basket in there, you can. The shelves don't come all the way forward, so you can put a vacuum in there. You can put a Swiffer in there. You know, whatever else you want. Girl Scout cookies, right, Chris? I know that's where you'd be putting in there. Right over here, you have a spot to hang up your jackets, uh, coats, whatever else. And I like the fact that you have a little bench seat. So that way, you know, you put your shoes on. I personally have my, my shoes right in that little area. Put a rug down there. You can put your shoes in there so they're out of the way. Then you can actually, you know, sit down and put your shoes on before you head out. Makes life pretty easy. Coming to the back course it's a rear bath so you would expect it to be large and it is and one of the big benefits of a rear bath is this right here the fact that you get huge storage 
in the bathroom. Not all of them have it, but many of them do, and this one is no exception. So big storage area right there. You have the porcelain bowl for the toilet. Obviously plenty of room if I sit down right here. I mean, great leg space, good shoulder space. You have a little shelf for your toilet paper, whatever else you need to put in there. Enough room for a small trash can underneath the sink. Good countertop space, mirrored medicine cabinet. Then over in the corner is a neo-angle shower. And when I take a step in here, again, folks, even at six foot tall right here, I don't even need the skylight. I can still stand all the way up. With that skylight, I mean, I could be, you know, 6'4", maybe even 6'5", and still be able to stand in here thanks to that large barreled ceiling. Over to the side, linen closet. Spot for, you know, all your towels and all your other bathroom goodies. Cologne, perfume, hair dryer, whatever else you need gives you a spot for it. Now when we come in a little bit further, we talked about the theater seating there, great lighting, windows all the way around, right? Helping to bring in some of that natural light and a U-shaped dinette. Now, you know, a lot of people right off the bat might think, well, Ian, I don't need a U-shaped dinette. It's just two of us, you know? And here's the great thing. If you both want to sit in the back and snuggle up, you can certainly do that. You know, if you want to sit on opposite ends of the table and longingly and lovingly stare into each other's eyes, you can do that too, right here, right? Uh, the reason I really like this though is this gives this one uh, the ability to sleep more people. You can, you can sleep two adults right here. If you drop this table down into a bed, boom, there you go, two adults. So if you have friends that are coming to stay the night, you can actually accommodate them here in your RV. Plus, you have enough room where all four people can sit around and play a game together. Um, and, and that's important. You know, that's one of those things that a lot of people don't think about. They, when you're looking at couples coaches, it's like, well, it's just the two of us. Well, sure. But it might not always be that way. You know, you, chances are when you start getting out there and you start camping, you're going to make friends because that's just what happens when you go camping. And so some of those friends may want to come over. They may want to play a game. Maybe just, you know, sit around and shoot the breeze, share a meal together, break some bread. Right here is the place that that will all happen. Uh, if you take a look at the flooring, this is great too. You have kind of like that vinyl weave flooring, so no carpet. Going to be stay nice and clean, easy to clean up. Same thing with all the furniture. You know, you have that kind of like that leatherette, that synthetic leather, and it wipes up super easy. So if you do spill some red wine, just wipe it right away. Easy access storage. You have the doors right there. Um, I personally, you know, would probably find a tote to fit inside there. If, if you pick up this RV, that's probably one of the things I would do just because it does make it easier to access that storage. But, you know, if you have some longer items, they will certainly fit in there. You just got to get down a little bit to access them. Uh, if, in case you're wondering, let's do some quick measurements here on the 2710. So, folks, this one is coming in a little under 31 and a half foot. Dry weight is 5,770 pounds. One of the really impressive things, though, is the tank size. If you plan on getting out, you know, going out and just camping in the middle of nowhere, you don't have hookup, awesome. I highly encourage it. But you're going to want to make sure you have decent tanks. This one you're looking at 43 gallon fresh tank, 76 gray and 38 black. So nice big tanks for you. Uh, it's also worth mentioning that the windows on the side of the slide, both of these do open for cross ventilation. So if you are out camping and, uh, or, you know, boondocking and you're not, not able to run the AC, something like this is a big deal because you can open up all these windows and get that breeze as you're sitting right here. Just have it kind of cascade over you, right? Just feeling uh, nice and good, feeling, feeling comfy, feeling just, just loving life. Taking a look up top again, you have the frosted glass. I do like the fact it's backlit. You kind of see that above the crown molding here too, which by the way, I, I really love that they put the crown in, just kind of gives it that residential look and feel. And that, what is going on? This girl, is, is it a power thing? Is that what's happening? Just, okay, shh, shh, shh. we're just gonna put you right there. Just, no. <laughs> just kidding, I wouldn't do that to you. Nobody puts baby in the corner. Apparently I'm just gonna throw you. I promise I'm a nice guy. So if we take a look, there's good storage right up there though. And then over to the side, you have more storage here. Microwave, hood, down below that, cooktop. You know, Kevin, I gotta ask, what is it with the dolls? Why, why the dolls? We had it when we were in Marion last year. We, we have her now and what's on her face? What, what is this? Is that a dirt smudge? What is happening to this poor girl? She, did she get run through the ringer? I mean, good Lord. Just, anyway, what should we name her, Kev? What do you think? We'll have to come up with that. You know what? You folks watching at home, I want some names in the comment section. I want you guys, you ladies, guys, gals at home that are watching this right now, I want you to name this beautiful little lady right here in her power suit. You know, look at that, rocking the tie. Let me know what an appropriate name is. I, I, I don't know. Here we go, guys. National tour never, never ceases to amaze me. <laughs> right down underneath, good storage here too. 
You have the uh, ball bearing drawers, full extension on there, right? One of the things I love is the way they've angled this, the way they set it up, this top drawer, you get full access because it's beyond the sink right there. And you know, I always say you have to have at least one drawer to be functional, folks. This one has four. Trash can underneath the sink, exactly where I want it. Recessed cooktop with the glass cover. Storage underneath that. We saw the storage up top. Spice rack over here to the side. She's a spicy lady, we'll put her right there. Making our way into the bedroom. You have a nice big door for privacy that you can close off. Storage all the way around the bed, wardrobes on the sides as well, and a residential queen size bed. So if you're a taller person, your feet hopefully won't hang off because you get that full 80 inch length. You also have big nightstands on both sides. Of course, electrical outlets as you'd expect. And if you take a look at that, Kevin, there's a little cubby hole right over there for people. Just a little additional storage. now. This is on the inside. When we take a look outside, right, we have some great features here too, starting off with our steps. You have the uh, solid step system by Lippert, just like the name implies, it is very solid, adjustable feet. Flip it right in the door when you're done. Big grab handle right here so you can get that extra control when entering or exiting the RV. One of the big ones, and this is one of the things you oftentimes get with a rear bath, is an outside kitchen. So if you're looking at couples models and you uh, outside kitchen is a big thing, rear baths oftentimes will have them. So you can see the two burner cooktop right there, plus the outside fridge. And if we drop down underneath, right there we are. That is your propane quick connect so you can hook up a grill nice and easily. We come up a little bit, power awning up top, LED light speakers, a spot for our TV. If you want a TV right outside here, nice and easy to hook that guy up to. I love the key TV system. It feeds into the back and that same cable line will feed to this TV. It'll feed to the one inside. So you don't have to sit there and you know run a bunch of different uh, coax cable and splitters and everything else. Who wants to deal with all that? I don't, I want it to be simple and that's what Keystone does for you. When we take a look at the pass-through storage, this does have a magnetic catch just like that and we take a look inside here, you can see it is a big pass-through, nice large door. Power stabilizer jacks and the controllers are in here too. So just touch a button, you know, just boop, there it goes. And now my, my jacks are extending and retracting, right? Don't have to worry about it, making life easy. Coming up front, not only that, you have power awning, power stabilizer jacks, and a power tongue jack for hooking up and disconnecting from your tow vehicle. Propane behind that. For those of you we talked about boondocking, looking to do some, right there's your, uh, your portable solar panel hookup. So you can just plug it in right there, trickle charge the battery. Fully enclosed, insulated, and heated underbelly, letting you camp later into the season, right? Early in the spring, later in the fall, when it just starts dipping below those freezing temps, you'll be good here in the Passport, and you have that gorgeous three quarter front cap with that faux windshield. Folks, this is just the first of several different couples models that we have. If this is the one for you, let me tell you what, got some good news. This one is starting under 37,000 and you can pick it up for as little as $8.84 a day. If this is the one for you, text the word RV to 46642. And something else folks, we won't be beat on price on this passport or anything else you've seen for the last 10 weeks. If you have a deal going, you think you're getting a better deal, text the word deal, or sorry, text the word beat, B-E-A-T to 46642. We'll beat it or give you a thousand bucks. The best things happen outdoors, and they start at Gander RV and Outdoors. Did you know that you can get a fifth wheel that sleeps six for only $1.94 a month? To learn more, visit GanderRV.com today. Next up, we have a travel trailer for it's one of the most well-known names in the RV industry, right? And that is Keystone Cougar. They've been one of the top selling brands for almost the last two decades and for great reason. And folks, the cool thing about this is, you know, when you're talking about travel trailers, it's a very affordable price and it's able to be towed by a half ton truck, which I know for a lot of people is a big deal. This one right here is the Keystone Cougar 24 SAB. You're looking at a length of 28 foot 4 inches and a dry weight of just over 6,060 pounds. So again, towable by a lot, a lot of your half tons. For tank sizes, 60 gallon fresh, 76 gray, 38 black. And as you can see, this one 
is going to be a rear kitchen setup instead of a rear bath like we just saw. Now, they do some things in here that are a little unique, and I kind of like it. So one of them is going to be your TV placement. Take a look at that. So the thing that's really cool about this is if I'm sitting here at the dinette, Man, I have like a prime spot looking at that TV right there. I mean, I feel like I'm at the bar, you know, I'm at a sports bar watching the game, sitting here, have a nice cold one, nice frosty mug sitting down. Yeah, I could get down on that. Also though, if you notice behind it is a swing arm bracket. So that can actually swing out and around. So if you're sitting in this sofa in this slide, you are still able to watch TV. So I like the versatility that you get in that. And if you know me, you know that this right here is a big deal to me, having that campsite dinette so I can take a look out, out at this beautiful lot and that giant, what appears to be fuel tank that I don't even know if it's still in operation or not. But realistically though, right, it's gonna be your campsite and, and that's what you want. That's the view you want right there. I'm gonna be sitting here, you know, sipping on my morning cup of coffee because I just drank a nice uh, frosty, you know, mug of beer or two or three, maybe four, the night before. I'm gonna need a little bit of coffee to pick back up. Sweating a little, man, sweat it out, Ian, sweat it out. Go for a morning run, now we're talking. But uh, I, again, I like having that campsite dinette. This does drop down into a table. Um, you know, they, they say this one sleeps five, and the main reason is because they're counting this to be able to sleep one person. Now, for an adult, I'm gonna tell you, it's not gonna be a super comfortable bed. For a kid, sure. Uh, I would say this one sleeps more to like 4.5, would probably be what I would say. Um, but, you know, it does have that capability. One of the things I do like is the storage. Take a look at this. Boom, you get a huge pull-out drawer, and that is a big deal for me. Um, you know, th that's my number one favorite type of storage, and we're talking about storage underneath a booth dinette. You know, having a door with a bin in it is number two because it's still pretty easily accessible, but I love just being able to pull it out, grab what I need, put it right back in, you know? It's absolutely perfect. Up top, good storage here too, beautiful raised panel cabinetry. That's one of those things, you know, a, a lot of times when if you're new to RVing and you're kind of walking through and you don't know what stands out, you're like, man, I really like this. What about it is it that I really enjoy? A lot of times it's going to be your woodwork, your cabinetry, and raised panel is definitely more expensive, uh, but it just really looks so much nicer and it's better builds quality, which as you know is what Cougar is all about. And here's the great thing, folks. As we go through, as you're taking a look at this and, and just know that, you know, you have every Everything you need in here, obviously kitchen, sleeping capacity, this one is four season capable, everything you want, great warranty, and this one is starting under $37,000, you're looking at $8.86 a day, which is very manageable, and again, this will get you out and really get you uh, being able to see what this beautiful country of ours has in a very comfortable and safe way. What is happening? What is this? Kevin, what, it, I mean, apparently she's limber. You know, good. For, I, I I thought she was in a, in a suit. I didn't know she was a gymnast as well. The fact that, I mean, she can pull that off. I'd be ripping my pants open is what would happen, Kev. I'd have a big old split down the back. Good for you. It's, it's got to be chilly. Here, let's warm you up a little. Put you right there. But nice big fridge freezer combo, folks. That one does run off both propane and electric. You have the drawers right down underneath there. And of course, as I put uh, my fancy lady right over here on the cooktop, you'll see that is recessed. So you get good prep space. She's safe. She's not going to get burned. There's a glass cover there. You're welcome. Upgraded countertops right over to the side. It's not your T-mold. You don't have anything popping off right here in the corner. It's a nice upgraded countertop too. Um, and what I mean by that is, A, like I said, it's uh, a better than T-mold. You also have less chance of water getting in and it's going to be a little bit lighter weight, right? Than like a true solid surface. And weight's always going to be a concern, uh, especially when you're trying to make sure that we get this in that half ton range. Now, uh, you'll see that double basin sink, you know, stainless steel bowl, nice deep bowls. It, it's always a, a battle when I talk to people, and it's pretty split if they like one large single bowl or a double bowl. Um, the advantage of having a double bowl is it's a lot easier to wash and rinse dishes. The advantage of having a single bowl is you can fit bigger and or a lot of times more dishes in it. So it's kind of you know up to you what works. Again, I've seen both different manufacturers use both. And that's a great thing, folks. We're here to help you out. Something as small as that may you know that may be a, a make it or break it point for you, and that's great because I have RVs with a very very similar floor plan to this, you know, similar look, but with a different sink. And if that's something you're interested in, all you got to do is text that word fresh to 46642 and we can help you out. High rise pull out faucet though. That's a great feature right there. You know, nothing's getting better than that. I love that one. Big windows here in the kitchen, letting in all sorts of natural light. You have LED lights right here in the kitchen to light it up at night. 
again, that raised panel cabinetry, but if you notice, you have a little bit different color, right? It's a, it's lighter here in the kitchen. It's almost like a, I don't know what you want to call it, a cottage white type, right? Uh, I, I really like the look. You'll see the kind of the, the herringbone pattern on the back, on that back wall, but it, it feels fresh. It feels clean, and I like having that in my kitchen. If we drop down underneath, of course, oven, if you want to do a little bit of baking, drop that down so you can see, you know, decent size oven there, bigger than a lot of them in this size, enough space for a trash can. Plus, if you take a look right back there, you still have plenty of storage for pots, pans, whatever else you want to put down there. And then not one, but two drawers. So you have a fully functional kitchen because you have a spot for flatware, all your other utensils, everything else you need. And the cool thing about this one, folks, we talk about that weight. This one's just a, a hair over 6,000 pounds and you still get a slide out. And this right here is your tri-fold sofa. You know, I know that I like to belly up to the bar at the dinette, but to be quite honest, this is probably where I'm gonna be sitting. I have a nice, comfortable armrest. You know, I, I have my frosty mug here. I'm still good, even though realistically a little bit smaller. I'm probably gonna have a little bit of bourbon on the rocks. Feeling some Woodford tonight. That may have to happen, Kev, may have to happen. But here we go, you know, it's, it's gonna be a comfy place to sit. And the bigger part about it for me anyway is the fact that it pulls out into a bed. And we talked about that just a little bit ago in that passport that, you know, it, although it's meant for just you and one other person, chances are at some point or another, someone's gonna wanna stay with you. And I'm not gonna wanna curl up into the fetal position at, a, at the dinette to stay the night. And maybe that's the way you want it. Maybe you don't want people to stay the night, but the fact that you have that option is pretty cool. So if friends, family do come visit you, you have a place that they, can, they will be accommodated right here. Storage across the top, you can see that. Uh, again, big windows in here, letting in a ton of natural light. Then you got this one over to this side. I love the fact this is adjustable storage. So you can customize it to what you want. Plus you have the drawer right down underneath. And again, you have that, uh, that nylon weave so that you know it stays nice and clean for you. Multimedia centers down here, in case you're wondering where that is. That is a DVD player, so if you wanna watch a movie, you can pop that in. You know, watch your, watch your wedding video maybe. You know, if you have it on a DVD, that's a good one. You know, just sit down on the couch, pop in the wedding video. You wanna talk about reconnecting in a hurry? It's a good way to do it right there. It's a good start to any weekend. Coming on into the bathroom, you can see the, the kind of, you know, almost spa-like background you have there, the, the surround, I really like it, neo-angle, plenty of head height. You have the skylight over to the side. You can see mirrored medicine cabinets nice and big. Again, upgraded countertops, which lets you have the undermount bowl and good storage space underneath. Porcelain bowl, as you would expect, and you know, a little bit higher end travel trailer like the Cougar, plenty of room there. You also have some storage up here, which is always good. Now, if you can make your way around the other side, you're able to get in here, Kev, into the bedroom. There we go. So a couple things, one right away, if you want a spot for a TV, right there it is. So you can have TV in the bedroom. You can see the queen bed there in the center on both sides. You have nightstands with storage underneath. I'll pop this guy open. So you will also see all the easy access storage you have right there. It is strut supported, so it is super simple uh, to be able to, to access anything you need there. Wardrobes on the side, additional storage across the top, and another door to the outside, right there to the exterior. And I like having that second exterior door, especially if you do have guests. It makes it nice and easy, and more importantly, is the fact that you know when this is closed up, you bring this slide in, Normally, that would kind of cut off the bedroom and the bathroom here when you're traveling. But because you have that second entrance, you can get into the bedroom, you can get into the bathroom through that secondary entrance. And of course, you can come right in here, no problem, be able to get into this refrigerator. And I love the fact they use the wood on here. It's just absolutely gorgeous. My sweets, enjoy yourself. Give people a wave bye. We're going to go outside, take a look out there. There you go. As we come right out here, you will see these solid steps. You have the uh, nice big grab handle on there, makes it easy to get in and out of the RV. Making our way to the front here. You can see the power tongue jack. This one has, uh, or makes it of course life nice and easy. It does have a light on there for added visibility at night, but more importantly, you just don't have to wear your arm, you know, cranking it up and down. Just makes it a lot simpler to connect and disconnect. You have your, uh, your propane with the cover right behind that. Of course, batteries. You'll also see your diamond uh, kind of etched plating coming up the front, that three quarter front cap with LED lights inlaid in there as well. Big pass through storage, very wide door. The in command system, I don't know why I didn't hit on that when we were inside, folks. One of the cool things about Cougar 
Cougar with the in command is it, it will control your, your lights, your slides, your awning, your HVAC. One of the coolest things is it's a thermostat. You can actually set a schedule. So let's say you park this, right? You're gonna run into town for a bit. You know you're gonna be back in a few hours. You can tell that AC when to kick on. So when you get back, it is nice and cool and ready for you. And I love that feature. But again, huge pass through in there. On the very far side, you know what? Let's run around real quick. Let me see if this is unlocked. I didn't check, so it may not be unlocked, but we are, we're gonna find out right now. Aha, success. So what I wanna show you is this one does have the solar package, uh, the, the solar uh, OTG, so you can see that solar controller right there, plus right underneath here is an inverter. So what that does is that will allow some of your 120 to work. So that will be, um, you know, you will have an outlet in your bedroom, one in your main living area. So if you need to plug anything in, you'll be good to go. You need to charge a cell phone, you are all set right there. Now folks, again, this one right here is starting under 37,000. If you love this one, if you want this Cougar, you want to be able to travel the US in this one, you are gonna use the keyword RV and text that to 46642 or drop it in the comments comment section below. If you're just getting into it, you need some help, maybe you want to check out some other Cougar floor plans, highly recommend it. Text the word FRESH to 46642. Camping World is the one-stop shop for all your outdoor essentials. Shop chairs and side tables starting at only $9.99 and patio lights starting at $10.99. Grills for only $9.99? Who knew travel could be so easy? Your vacations just got a little brighter, a little tastier, and a little cozier. See America for less when you shop at Camping World. What does it take to keep cool when you're RVing? Well, if you ask my man Chris, it just comes natural. But for the rest of us, sometimes we have to do a little bit to uh, help make sure that we're staying cool on a hot day. Um, the number one thing, right, the easiest that always comes to everyone's mind is just opening up your windows. So it's really nice if your RV has, you know, kind of windows that are across from each other, right? It's what they call cross ventilation. You'll see that both of these windows on the ends of the slide open. Seeing as how this is a popular spot you tend to sit, having this can be very beneficial. Open the windows up. If there's a breeze, you should be able to feel that breeze coming through. Now, how do we kind of accentuate that, right? How do we make that a little bit better? Well, that's when your roof vents will come into play. So if you take a step right back here, you'll see something like this, right? Open up some roof vents. That way you have a way for the heat to escape as well. As we all know, heat rises, open it up, hopefully the heat comes out. We're getting a little bit cooler air coming back into the RV. You also have some other options to help aid in that. One of them is this guy right here, and what that does is it sits on top of that vent, and it really, the biggest advantage is it lets you keep that vent open while it's raining, because sometimes it's still hot when it's raining, right? And it starts to get humid, and that's not something you wanna deal with. So with this guy right here, you can keep that open, it'll pull air in, you won't get a bunch of rainwater in. Uh, another big option to aid is something like this, which is a, a Max Air fan, fantastic fan. Folks, they do an awesome job of moving air through a camper. And the neat thing about them, some of them are reversible too. And what that means, you can choose which way you want the blade to spin. So you can either push the hot air out or pull air in depending on what you want. And some of them, like this one, when the vent is, when the top is closed, you can still turn it on. It'll actually act like a ceiling fan, helping to recirculate the air in the camper. So that right there is, is gonna be the best way to do it on 12 volt, right? If you're running just off battery. Now, let's say you have shore power and it's a really hot day. Let's say it's 90 plus degrees out and the air coming in is just, is just as hot as it is inside the camper. You need something else. Well, that of course is where the AC will come into play. Now, depending on your AC unit, either you'll have something where, you know, it'll just dump all the cool air right here or it'll be ducted like this one. But a lot of them that are ducted still have that quick dump option. So that way you can open these up. All that cool air will just dump in this main area because as we know, right, the air is gonna take the path of least resistance. So it's gonna go right here rather than travel through the ductwork. This is a really good way when you just turn the AC on to cool it down really quickly in this main area is do, do the quick dump. And then after it starts cooling off a little bit, you can close that off and then it will continue through to the rest of your ductwork here to cool off the rest of the areas a little bit better. Also to help aid in that, there are some products you can get. Um, you have you know, something like this, like a solar window cover. So you can put this you know, in your windows to reflect some of that heat. That's assuming you don't have something like this already built in, right? These are uh, blackout shades, which do work pretty well, but also bear in mind that they're black. 
So, you know, it's still gonna absorb heat, so chances are you're gonna feel some heat coming through those. So with something like this, that'll help reflect it back out. So again, it'll help keep the cool, uh, camper a little bit cooler. You also have something like this, just a vent cushion that you can put inside one of the vents. Um, you know, a lot of times all it is is it's a thinner piece of plastic that's covering up that vent. And so there'll still be a lot of heat that's gonna be transferred in and out of there. This'll help prevent that. Uh, it's also useful in the winter too, right? Really useful in the winter to make sure you keep that heat inside. If all else fails, you got a little fan, right? Just put that sucker on you. Maybe open up the freezer, stick your head in the freezer. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, but anyway, assuming you have shore power, the AC is gonna be the best way to go. Now, there are some basic maintenance things you're gonna wanna do on the air conditioner unit. Uh, you'll have filters inside that you'll wanna change regularly. If you don't, what'll start happening is where the air comes out right here, uh, you'll start seeing a bunch of black marks on your ceiling. And that's a really good sign that you need to wash your AC. There's also some things you need to do up top. So let's head up onto the roof. We'll take a look at uh, the AC. AC units, talk a little bit about the different types available, and again, maybe some of the things you just want to do for the maintenance side. Helps if I go the right way, huh? That's the front of the RV. It's not how I recommend getting up on the roof. Coming around to the back, a lot of RVs will have ladders on them. Um, the nice thing about that is it, it basically lets you know it has a fully walkable roof. Now, bear in mind, if there's no ladder, it still might be a fully walkable roof. You'll want to check, but if there is a ladder here, again, pretty much it lets you know you can get up here, walk around, no problem. So as we climb on up, and folks, I'm a pretty big guy. I mean, I'm not worried about falling at all. I'm over 200 pounds. I can climb up here. You can see I can walk on the roof, you know, kind of hop up and down. This one has a uh, 3 8 inch decking all the way across. So that really is what gives the support. I mean, obviously there's someone with the camera up here, I'm up here, good to go. So this right here is the AC unit. You'll have two different types basically that are gonna be roof mounted. It'll be a 13,500 BTU or a 15,000 BTU, depending on uh, A, if you have a uh, 30 amp or 50 amp, and B, depending on the size of the AC unit itself. And bear in mind, the bigger the RV, you can get two different AC units. Again, that'll be running off 50 amp. The AC will also generally be the highest point on most trailers, so bear that in mind. There are things like a low profile that'll get it a little bit lower, and so it may feel a little bit safer going under some of those underpasses, things like that. Uh, as far as maintenance on this unit, you wanna check the back, right back here in the venting, because what happens sometimes over storage is birds like to f make little nests in there because it's enclosed, and that will cause some serious damage to your AC unit. So if you find out it's not working, that's definitely one of the things you wanna check out. Now, if you don't feel safe climbing up here onto the roof, I completely understand. The great part about that, folks, you can bring it to a Camping World location. We'll be happy to get up here on the roof, inspect your AC, make sure everything's on the up and up. With the Camping World Best Price Guarantee, we'll beat any competitor price by $500 guaranteed or write you a check for $1,000. I will never lose a deal over price, ever, and I guarantee it. Learn more today at CampingWorld.com. You want to talk about charming couples RVs, this one right here, for me, absolutely nails it. Hits it right out of the park. There's a lot of things I really love about what East to West has done here in the Silver Lake. Uh, if we take a look around, we'll see it's a pretty similar floor plan to what we had in the Passport, but as with anything in the RV world, right, things change from RV manufacturer to RV manufacturer. I like the colors in here, it's nice and bright. They did a good job of having plenty of LED lights. I like the setup, it's very open, nice big dinette here. Uh, you know, length, we're at under 30 and a half foot. Weight, we're under 6,500 pounds dry. And one of my favorite, absolute favorite parts of this one, folks, is the price point. You can pick this one up for under $27,000. We're talking about six bucks and 67 cents a day is what we're starting at. That is an awesome price for what you get right here. Now, let's take a look up at the kitchen, right? I mean, because I don't know about you, but if it's the two of us, right, I'm gonna make sure I'm cooking up some meals for wifey so she's happy. You know, I that's gotta have a happy belly. That's, what, that's where we start, right here in the kitchen. And so you see, you have that upgraded countertop. You don't have to worry about the T-mold popping off in the counter. It's nice and lightweight. Less chance for water intrusion as well because you don't have that T-mold. And it allows you to undermount the sink, which I love because it's so much easier for cleanup. You don't have the lip on the sink that gets all gross, right? Uh, but it's, so it's a stainless steel undermount, nice and deep, big industrial style chrome faucet there, stainless faucet, electrical outlet exactly where I want it because chances are that's where my coffee maker is going to go. Big 
window right there too. Uh, so that's of course gonna let in a lot of natural light. You also get kind of dedicated prep space, which I like having in an RV. I, I will absolutely use the cooktop if I have to or sink top covers, but my preference is to have actual countertop space uh, to prep the food and that's exactly what you get. And as I mentioned, you have the three burner cooktop oven right underneath that. Not one, not two, but three full extension drawers there and underneath the sink. Dun, 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 plenty of room for a trash can. That way, my bag doesn't have to try to wrap around poles. It's not hanging there, getting all gross, smelling bad, leaking all over my floor. You can see up top, you have storage all the way across. Microwave, hood, basically everything you need here to complete the kitchen. And you get the Magic Chef 12 volt refrigerator. If you're new to RVing and you don't necessarily understand the difference between 12 volt and 120, well, let me help you out. The great thing about a 12 volt refrigerator is it runs off 12 volts and that is what your battery supplies. So the cool thing about this is this runs off the RV batteries. Uh, otherwise, you know, if it was a residential one, it run off 120 and then you have to have either shore power or a generator to run it. The other option, your standard fridge will run off either 120 or propane. So you either have to have shore power to run your fridge or you have to have propane to run your fridge. But right here we have the 12 volt. And so again, it runs off the batteries. And folks, if you have two batteries on this RV and you uh, have some solar, you can basically run that thing almost indefinitely because it is very low power consumption. That is the big reason that 12 volt refrigerators have become so darn popular and you get more space in it, right? For the, for the same size box, because there's less in the back, you get more cubic foot. You're looking at 10 cubic foot instead of like a, a six, seven, or eight cubic foot that you would normally get with the propane driven refrigerator. So uh, I definitely do like the fact they have that there. Entertainment system right across from the sofa, exactly where you want it. Uh, right down underneath, you know, you have a little bit of shelving space there, multimedia center over here. Of course, that's Bluetooth capable and the fireplace underneath to kick out some heat and keep those toesies warm on a cold night. A little bit of storage right up top there as well as the AC. This is fully ducted, but it also has the quick dump option to help cool this area off nice and quickly. And as we come around the side, very similar to what we had in the Passport, one of my favorite things, take a look at that. Huge storage, nice big shelves, plenty of pantry space, and the storage underneath so I can come on in, kick my shoes off, toss it right in there, and I'm not you know, gumming up the doorway, don't have shoes all over the place, not tripping as I'm coming in. And then in the very back, because this is a rear bath, whoo baby. You know what I love about this? There's a couple different things. One, I can sit right here, just splat. No, I'm just kidding. Um, the, thing, the thing I like about this, folks, is it gives you space to change, right? Uh, a lot of times in an RV, what they try to do is they try to maximize your, you know, what, what I would call usable living space. So your living room, your kitchen, you know, kind of those areas you're gonna spend a lot of time in. They wanna try to make them as big as possible. So oftentimes what gets sacrificed is the bedroom, right? You have a smaller bedroom, so you don't have a lot of room be able to change your clothes. But when you have a big rear bath like this, I have all this space right here I can change. I have privacy, you know, I'm not, you know, kind of on the edge of my bed trying to change my clothes. I step out of the shower, I change, I am good to go. So it's one of the things I really love about the big rear baths. Uh, porcelain bowl here as well, folks, nice and easy to clean. Again, just because it's a lower price point doesn't mean that you shouldn't have higher end amenities. And you know, East to West understands that with the Silver Lake, which is why they're giving you all this. You have the linen closet over to this side, nice decorative surround. <laughs> what is going on? Girl, apparently she's showering now. I get it. It's hot. You know, when, when we're done here, we're going to shower up and go check out some RV games. Maybe she'll join me. Who knows? You know, wifey, I'm sorry. I love you. You're not here. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but, you know, it, what, what is this, Kevin? What is that? That is a move. It's, it's impressive. It's, is it yoga? She's doing yoga. Zen-like. Ah... Um, but as you can see, folks, I'm six foot tall, no issues whatsoever with height. I mean, with that skylight, I could be, you know, six one, six two. I can put it on top of my head, you know, but still no issues. Look at all that extra space we got. Hand wand right here, make it nice and easy to shower up. And it's a big shower. I can turn sideways in here and I'm fairly broad in the shoulders and I can still shower in here, no problem. I have all that space till the door. That's something oftentimes in an RV bathroom you don't get. You know, you'll turn, you'll hit the shower curtain, you'll hit the door, but not 
not all the case here. I have so much space. And this door that comes with it is great because it's mold resistant. So when you're done, you just zip it right back in there. You don't have to worry about mold or anything. Uh, it, it really is phenomenal. Making our way back out into the living area, super slide with your jackknife sofa. Now, with this jackknife, if I lay down here at six foot tall, one, it's extremely comfortable. Two, it's, uh, it's big and... Oh, okay, all right. Two, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's big. So being six foot, I can actually lay down on here. And, and I like that because a lot of times on a jackknife sofa, you don't get that. So when this one says that it can sleep four, it can absolutely sleep four. You have the big jackknife sofa. You'll also see in a bit, in a bit you have a big dinette. Now, when I open this up, Again, folks, all that storage space underneath that jackknife, that's one of the big benefits, right? There's different benefits to each style of sofa. The jackknife, you get a ton of storage. A trifold is gonna give you a little bit more comfortable sleep, right? It's gonna be a little bit bigger bed. A lot of times you can sleep two people on a trifold. Uh, but, you know, for a lot of people, I know that you really want the storage, especially in a couple's model. Now, right over here is the dinette. And I, I tell people this all the time, folks, not every dinette is made equally. One of the things I love about the East to West Silver Lake is the depth of this dinette. I mean, I have so much space here for another person. I could, you know, have my wife here and, and our five-year-old, and, you know, I would still have room for all three of us to fit on one side, which is great. And, you know, if I want to eat like a football player, you know, like sometimes my son does, starts doing this, you know, starts shoveling food in his mouth, has his elbows out. He, there's enough space here where he can actually do that. Of course, I'm going to slap him and tell him no, but he, uh, he can. There is the space for it. You have the electrical outlet down underneath. So if you need to do any kind of work, laptop, tablet, whatever you can. And as I mentioned, this does drop down into a good size bed. Plus, windows galore, folks. Windows all the way around in here, letting in a ton of natural light. LED lights, of course, to light it up at night. And then we make our way into the bedroom. One of the other great parts about the East to West Silver Lake is this right here, folks. This is a king size bed. That way you're not, uh, you know, elbowing each other in the middle of the night. Everyone has their own space. Wardrobes on the side. Cubby holes in the back right there. So it's a perfect spot to charge your cell phone. You have some drawer space here as well, plus a window. An actual slider door, right? So you can close that off. And on the other side is where the TV will go in case you want one. So as you can see, folks, there's so many different couples models. I mean, I always like when, when we do these shows, I get to kind of do some back-to-back -back that are pretty similar floor plans. And the cool thing about it is it shows the differences from manufacturer to manufacturer. I mean, not just from, you know, an amenity standpoint, but a construction standpoint and, you know, colors, woodwork, you know, the basic design, even though it's a similar floor plan, there's a twist. And you get to see some of these. And oftentimes, if you're at a dealership, you don't get that because a lot of dealerships, when they stock their lots, will try not to have competing products, right? Because, you know, the, the, the manufacturer probably doesn't want them to have a competing product. And that's oftentimes what happens. The cool thing about us, about Camping World, is we carry everything, right? So we're able to show you what is out there. We're able to show you some of those differences. We will carry two brands with multiple, uh, the same floor plan. And the coolest thing about it is you get to take advantage of that, folks. You get to shop it. You get to see what you want. All you have to do is text the word FRESH to 46642 to be able to get that access. And just like I'm doing right now, walking through all these, we can do that with you anywhere in the country. We can have people that can walk through and answer specific questions just for you. If you want to know how long that sofa is, we can have someone take a tape measure for you. They can one-on-one -on -one customize it and give you that answer. We have the ability to do it. All you need to do is initiate by putting out that word FRESH to 46642. Give us a call and we can uh, certainly make that work. Why can I not? get this door open uh-oh did they lock me in they wouldn't they wouldn't do that to me kevin there we go holy cow it is windy out apparently i'm just weak today holy smokes Woo! it is windy all right here we go so here is the outside i mean look at it you can see the door shaking we have stuff flying am i gonna see a tumbleweed oh that's what i want to see I'm in Arizona, I want a tumbleweed rolling by that. That would make my day. Uh, but coming around up front, you can see here the power tongue jack. You have a couple of propane tanks there. Right over here is the battery, diamond plating, nice smooth aluminum front on there. Coming around to the side, pass through storage here. We have a light, solar prep, right? You want solar, plug it in right there. You are good to go. And uh, we got a shirt, wrap around my head. There we go, tie it in a knot. 
protect me from the wind storm. As we make our way coming down a little bit, you can see right here that power awning. You have the LED light on there. You have some outside speakers. Right there's a TV. We're in hurricane winds, getting blown away. You ever seen that video? It's hilarious if you haven't seen it. Anyway, there's a guy in the background walking as he's faking to be in <laughs> torrential winds. Anyway, folks, this right here is the East to West Silver Lake 26 KRB. If you're interested in this one, it's starting under 27,000, as little as six dollars, 67 cents a day. Text the word RV to 46642. I am done wrapping this one up. I'm gonna go hop in the shower and go check out some RV games. Come on with me, folks. You don't wanna miss it. It's gonna be great.